Okay, this this right here, this right here is the punchline. This right here is the punchline that underscores the absolute insanity of Medicaid brokers and why you need to build your business the right way and not the not the white walker way. Let's go, Brandon. Hey. Let's go, Brandon. Hey. Let's go, let's go. Hey. Hello everyone, it's Joel Davis with the United Medical Transportation Providers Group, you are the broker.com and Home Care Access. And today is going to be a uh, great video. I encourage you watch the whole thing, even if you have to break it up into multiple segments to watch it. Some of you need to go back and rewatch it multiple times um, because I know the situation of some of you, and you need to watch it multiple times. Um, busy week, been a very busy week. So what I did is, you know, Charlie, Dan, and Don put all their put all their suggestions for me together. So when I'm ready to do a video, I can extract any content I want to kind of put it together. So I went through. Um, there's just so much, and again, we all love your emails. Um, but I went through and I put some, some, I extracted what I thought would be good because if you, if this video, if this video doesn't illustrate and convince you of how you need to properly build your business, then nothing else will. Unsubscribe, don't listen to me, go the way of the White Walkers, listen to the freebie experts, listen to all the Joel Davis haters, do whatever you got to do. Uh, to unsubscribe and never listen to me again. If this video doesn't convince you, nothing else will. So I put a lot of, um, got some good emails here, some some images of video. Let me try to put these in order here. All right, so I want to quickly, um, in order to show you this first one here, I want to, we got to quickly go back to the email that I had from a client provider recently, a couple videos ago where we talked about Southeast Trans. He went to sign up for Southeast Trans. And let's pull up this um, image we got here. Okay, well this one isn't that. The, but, but this is this is the, this is my favorite picture of my little beta male here. My little beta! If you're one of those little knee bending, virtue signaling betas, all submissive like your beta, unsubscribe, this ain't, this ain't the channel for you. This is too much male toxicity up in this joint. All right, here's what I'm looking for. All right, so to refresh your memory for some of you, if you haven't watched that video, I encourage you, go watch that video. Um, one of my client providers solicited Southeast Trans to sign up in their network. He's obviously not going to um, because here were their rates, their ambulatory rates for a base rate pickup, ambulatory $7.23, which includes the first six miles free, free. After six miles, $1.32 a mile. Get caught in traffic, you lose just on your labor. Doesn't even include fuel, wear and tear on the vehicle, nothing, maintenance, nothing. You get caught in traffic and a trip runs along, you lose. Wheelchair, seventeen dollars, uh, base pickup rate, six miles included. After that, they'll compensate you a dollar forty-eight a mile. Again, this is from earlier in the month. This goes back to they're pushing them to sign this agreement back on January twelfth. Obviously, my boy ain't gonna sign that. Laughable. But we did craft an email response and sent it to them. Uh, basically saying we're not interested you got to increase your rates of reimbursement this is a joke so if you'll recall we had our resident expert our resident og gangster thug pimp hustler straight up og as in 73 year old og terry terry sent us an email after seeing those laughable southeast uh trans rates sent us a great email talking about a contract he had just negotiated yada yada again go back watch those videos so catch up some of these are kind of in sequential order so we heard from terry again and terry uh said hello joel don dan and most excellent team members 
I am flabbergasted and filled with humility. You made a uh, comment on my email, not once, but in two different videos. Well, now it's three. Now it's three, Terry, because you are the man and we love hearing of your success, brother. He continues, yes, due to all your insight, training, and advice over the years, I made a great deal and have signed the contract with the broker for the rates I published. I have some portal and procedure training to complete before I can take my first ride and I'm excited to get started. There's one point I wish to make clear so your other members are not confused. The broker I spoke about is a non-Medicaid broker. This is very important. The broker I spoke about is a non-Medicaid broker. No low-hanging fruit. They are under contract directly with insurance companies, Medicare Advantage programs, hospitals, and other institutions. Again, a key point that is going to um, transcend all throughout this entire video. Let me re read that sentence again. They are under contract directly with insurance companies, Medicare Advantage programs, hospitals, and other institutions. Although there was some uh, hard negotiations and a bit of luck, the roads seem less maddening than working with Medicaid brokers. Love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Kudos to you, Terry. More exciting news. I was informed. This is awesome. More exciting news. I was informed in March 2022 they are signing a contract with a company that controls several hospital, hospital, hospital groups and assisted living facilities for NEMT trips in a three-state area of which my state, blank, has the largest portion. My home county and four neighboring counties representing an estimated 2.5 million population is where there is a huge need for an EMT ambulatory and wheelchair. At this point, my company is the only one on board to cover this area. Holy schmoly and gulp at the same time. I am excited about the opportunity, but concerned about having the wherewithal to perform the service. Hence, I am at a quandary. I want to take the business, but want control growth at the same time. I'll have to review your past videos and Million Dollar Manual to see uh, what you have commented on this subject. Nonetheless, I'm still excited and a firm believer of my favorite song, uh, my favorite saying, luck favors the well-prepared. Kudos to you for helping me be prepared. Once again, Joel, thank, thanks for all you and your crew have given and continue to give to us transportation providers Terry um, again Terry 73 years old straight up OG been in business for in one of his previous uh, emails in one of the previous videos he mentions he's been an, an entrepreneur for you know a million years half his life plus um, and I know that um, he was in one of my videos from a long time ago where I had a conference call with him. I have no clue what video that would have been because it was a long time ago, several years. So he's been in business with his NMT for several years and he continued to work through the scamdemic, the pandemic, and boom, look at this. Poised for success. Absolutely love it, Terry. Love it. Love it. Let's see what else we got up here. All right. This is building up to some stuff. So, um, all right. So, this email, this email is from a great dude. I've talked about him a couple times in previous videos because I've worked, I, I, he keeps me on retainer. I've worked with him for a couple years now. This dude is a rising star. There's no other way to say it. This dude is a rising star. He before he retained my services, he hired. He was starting his company in with a BLS company. Hired a, uh, a lady to do consulting work for him for BLS. I think she was out of the state of Georgia. Totally raped him financially in terms of hooked him up with the wrong, overcharged him, hooked him up with the wrong deals, led him astray, promises unfulfilled, yada yada yada. 
Then he found us, and we got him all hooked up loverly. We got him hooked up loverly. He'll be the first one to tell you. That's why he keeps us on retainer. Started his BLS and NEMT at the same time. I do not recommend that to any of you. Do not do that. But he pushed through it. it a lot of learning lessons, a lot of ups and downs. Like I say, he started with this girl, totally, uh, totally robbed him. Let him astray, so we had a lot of cleanup work to do. A lot of cleanup work to do. Purchased the wrong type of vehicles, overpaid here, all that kind of good stuff. I can give you all the horror stories. But this dude works his ASS off. BLS growing, NEMT growing. He's been working with us uh, for uh, his home care agency. Got him all set up. His licensing is about to be done, closed in about five seconds. Um, so he's been working with us with our home care access program for 120 days. Already studied all the youarethebroker.com training material because that's going to be his next venture when he gets a little breathing room. This and and this dude doesn't have any business partners. So because some people always make excuses, well I don't have enough time. I need business partners. I can't do it. No 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 no. This cat straight up machine this is why i love it man this dude is 24 7 working doing his thing love him so again this is all building up to something important here so he says and again we he, he keeps on retainer so he's emailing us all the time hi joel hope all is well man i need another van for sure i need your help business is picking up fast Wheelchair transport's getting very busy. My BLS stretcher is getting busy too. I'm going to need your help with another ambulance in two months as a backup. I get BLS calls conflicting for dialysis patients going to dialysis three times a week. I currently have a couple uh, now, but I am sure it's going to get really, really busy like the wheelchair division. Just need another backup ambulance truck just in case this business gets busy. What do you say? This business gets busy. I appreciate your help, man. Another thing about this dude, I can honestly say why we love working with this dude is because he never hesitates to express his appreciation. Not at all. The dude is humble. The dude is like a dry sponge to water, will listen to everything, wants to learn, thirst for knowledge, thirst for, for tidbits that he can use. Um, I mean everything. I, I literally, when I was traveling down south, I went to his office, man. His office is pimped out. And he doesn't have a big office, but he did it uh, just just right. Everything that you saw in the ebook is featured properly. The marketing material, all that stuff. This dude is on point. All right, so why do I share this? He grew, he worked hard, was grinding through the scandemic and the pandemic. Grew through it. What happens? Let's see where I'm at here. So, I think it was like the very next day or whatever, we found him a vehicle. Um, this vehicle is absolutely... Alright, so I'm going to share this video with you. So, we got him this vehicle. Uh, I'll try to play this while I'm talking here to save time. So we found him this vehicle, steal of a deal, steal of a deal that um, this video is actually the, the dealer. So I, I had him, I said, hey, I need a couple more pictures from the interior. I want to check a couple things, call the dealer tomorrow. He does. Not only does he connect with the dealer, the dealer sends him this video. Video, brand new tires, capacity with what, what we want. Uh, great price. I, 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 I told him, I said, listen, man, and I, I sent him some comps, some comparable uh, vans and prices. And I said, look, man, this is, this is it. Mileage, mileage is even less than what we wanted, which is like perfect. That's like hitting lottery. Price was outstanding, especially compared to comps. I told him, I said, listen, man, I don't think that these dealers really know what they got with this vehicle. Uh, because it's priced too good. So uh, so them sending this video um, was even better because it again it underscored the 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 mileage, the capacity uh, that we wanted, the flexibility and versatility of it. The price range was just awesome. So um, 
And I think, again, I think we got this vehicle, like I, I literally found this vehicle like the day after he had sent me that, that email. So awesomeness, awesomeness. Um, all right, so why do I talk about Terry and, uh, and this guy, James? Why do, I, why do I talk about them? Why, why, did I, why did I share this stuff here? Let me close out of some of these things here. Okay, so um, we get a, uh, let, me, let, me, let me show you some of the madness here. Okay, this is, to, this, this is to, to start to show you some of the laughable madness of these brokers. And again, if this video doesn't convince you of how to properly start your business or what your mentality should be, your thought process, then nothing's going to unsubscribe. Okay, this, remember I told you that um, we had sent that email for one of my other client providers. We sent the email to Southeast Trans saying, dude, your rates are too low. I mean, we're not even going to waste our time with this nonsense. So I didn't say it like that. It was much more professional. But anyways, um, their simple response to my client provider was, good afternoon. What are you requesting? How would an increase in prices, how would an increase change the volume of trips you provide for us now? How would you add cars and how many? I mean, and I told him, I said, that is just so stupidly, amazingly stupid that I said, don't even respond to it. Don't even respond to it. We'll, we're going to continue down the trajectory that we're, we're working on. Again, the only reason why he initially went up to Southeast Trans, put him in the position. But I mean, if the rates were good, then uh, decent, then we could consider them. But we put ourselves in a position where we could cherry pick if we want, use them as a Trojan horse to get into keep, some key places, things like that. But this is a classic example of how Medicaid brokers, again, I've said it for years upon years upon years. Medicaid brokers want women in business they don't want smart sound intelligent um experienced credible business women they want men in business but they don't want smart sound credible intelligent free thinking business men they don't want it this chick right here again we we didn't specifically say what our rates should be we just said that your rates are way too low Get them to come back with a go with a uh, higher price point that we could counter and all that kind of stuff. We don't even get in that game with this because this girl doesn't need this girl Renee doesn't even have two motor neurons connecting. I mean, how how would an increase change the volume of trips? How how, how would, would would you add cars? How many? I mean, <laughs> it's not even worth the topic of discussion. We're already too busy doing other things. It's not even worth it. Okay, but here's where it starts to really get juicy and get good. So, we had, um, I can't, I'm not going to share all of them with you because it was a long back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between um, Dan. Dan did this one. It was between Dan and this transportation provider. She first goes online, submits her stuff online through our, um, our contact uh, submission form. So, she submits it. And basically saying, hey, uh, I, I, I need I need change. I'm with the brokers. The brokers are killing me. The rates aren't good enough. Yada, yada, that type of a situation. So um, then Dan said to her, okay, well, tell us a little bit more. You know, where are you at? What are you doing? That type of deal. Um, and whatever they, you know, there are a couple exchanges. She responds with, um, I forwarded the email where they are trying to make me this now her the, the broker she's dealing with is logistic care formerly known as logistic care now it's motive care because they had to rebrand because they s-u-c-k a-s-s -S. um so anyway she goes back and forth with dan and she responds i forwarded the email where they are trying to make me sign their contract no i only work with brokers and i want more freedom so that's the the overall premise of why she reached out to us and again Dan had sent her back a series of questions and stuff like that um, and then she responded um, 
Okay, this this right here, this right here is the punchline. This right here is the punchline that underscores the absolute insanity of Medicaid brokers and why you need to build your business the right way and not the not the white walker way. So she's going back and forth with Dan multiple emails, too many for me to share here. Whatever Dan had asked her, her response was, only one problem, I didn't sign the contract, I attached it. The penalty phase for being late is up to $2,500 per month. Too steep for me. Think that thing through. Think that thing through. And again, I, I, I know I'm lumping Southeast Trans, Logistic Care, MTM, First Trans. I know I'm lumping them all together because they're all garbage. They're all, they, all have, they all operate from the same playbook. It, and it's just so... They need you to be dumb and down. This is how they control you. Flatten the curve, yo. Flatten the curve. Same type of... You're a, a dumb ASS and we're going to keep you down and this is tyrannic, uh, tyrannical and this is exactly what they do. So she doesn't agree with the rates. She's not agreeing with logistic care, motive cares, rates. We've gone past the anniversary of when she's supposed to sign up, renew her contract. It's inc she's going she's gonna to get penalized. She's going to get penalized if she signs up with them. So she's already passed the, the sign up anniversary, the contract was up, she's passed that. Now she's already up to, and it sounds like it's growing because she says uh, the penalty phase for being late is up to 2,500 per month. So it's up to, so that means it's probably increasing. I didn't read through her contract. Trust me, if I read through her contract, I'd probably throw my computer, but um, I, you know, I've seen a million of these. Um, if you haven't studied my DVD series, go study the DVD series because that's where I literally break down and walk you through a broker contract. What's good, what's bad, what's laughable, what to avoid, all that kind of stuff. Check that out. The penalty phase for being late is up to $2,500 per month. What, what makes me possibly want to sign up and join your network when this is the type of tyrannical brutality that you're going to expose me to and I already see that your rates are garbage let's go all the way back to Terry go back and watch those previous videos of the rates that he had and again what does Terry say today I just want to be clear the broker that I signed up with it's not even that low hanging fruit nonsense nonsense it's not even that low hanging fruit nonsense dealing with the Medicaid brokers I'm over here building relationships with hospitals facilities I'm working with bigger and better organizations. Let me continue. Let me continue. And again, Terry, been in business for a long time. Worked through, grew through, uh, invested through, struggled through, but got through the scandemic, the pandemic. My other client provider, who I showed you his, where we just got in the vehicle, James. Same thing. Work through, build through, grew through, struggled through at points, but got through with his BLS and EMT. Now he's doing his home care agency and then he's going to do his broker business. But did it all through the scandemic and the pandemic. Why? Because they're building the business the right way. And they're working to build strategic partnerships with hospitals and facilities. This is, this is, the, this is another email exchange with this other client provider. She's been in business since 2019, just like Terry, just like James. The rates are good only if I sign that contract. Uh, right now, our rates are 14 base, $1.65 a mile. So these are a little higher than that Southeast Trans nonsense. Wheelchair, 18 base. Southeast Trans was 17. Eight, uh, uh, this is Logistic Care, 18. Um... Mileage dollar eighty five, so these these uh, mileages are, are a little higher, but again, we're still all in the ballpark. Uh, existing rates were signed November of um, 
2019 when we started with them. They won't increase rates even though gas labor went up. I have, and so then Dan asked her, what, what, since 2019, Dan specifically asked her, since 2019, what have you been doing to build your strategic relationships, i.e. following Joel's strategies, go after the hospitals, nursing facilities, rehab, all this kind of good stuff. Since 2019, I have not went after hospitals, nursing homes, or any other business. I have not went after hospitals. So you've been in business since uh, over, two, what, two plus years. I have not went after hospitals, nursing homes, or any other business. But I want to and need a strategy. Nothing is free. I'm willing to pay to get to my strategic goal this year for my business. Are we going to work with her? Who knows? I mean, a lot of people say they want to. They're willing to pay. They want to work. They don't. Whatever. I mean, who knows? She may, she may move forward and enlist our help. She may flake out. I mean, we see a lot of that. That is what it is. But the underlying principle, the underlying takeaway is, to me, the riskiest thing out there when it comes to these businesses. The riskiest thing. I mean, people, people say, oh, business is risky. Yeah, yeah, there's always a chance. There's always a risk. But not when you do it the right way. You look at, you look at someone like this, this uh, woman here, this businesswoman who's been in business, signed her broker work in October of 2019, and since then all she's done is depend on, on brokers. And we know that brokers are the lowest rates of reimbursement, the Medicaid brokers. We know that the Medicaid brokers are just straight up, they're a business, they're in business to make money, straight up tyrannical. Straight up tyrannical. Go through, again, if you studied my DVDs and I walk you through one of those broker agreements, I'll show you what's good, what's bad, where it's laughable, how they're going to try to nickel and dime you on certain things. If we go back to, let me see if I still got it up. Okay, if we go back to our beta mail here, um, it's somewhere on here. If we go back to somewhere's here on this site, but all these brokers, all these brokers, they all have volunteer programs. So you can literally use your car, your gas, and go volunteer it. Go volunteer it. You want to talk about making these cats money? Go volunteer. And you're well intentioned. You think you're going to be helping out these seniors. These brokers get paid a mint regardless. When you go to pick up someone and they're a no-show, they cancel, you don't get paid, but the broker still gets paid. They get paid regardless. To me, it's risky. Why build your business so that you are reliant and dependent upon brokers? I, I'm, not, I'm never going to understand it. It's like making, it's like making your the deal with the devil. Again, I always use the pet alligator uh, example of, you're never going to play fetch with it. You're never going to curl up with it and snuggle with it. It's, it's, it's an alligator. It ain't a dog. You're not going to play fetch. Try to do that and you're going to get bit. Dealing with Medicaid brokers like this, not only is it risky for your business model and you are in business to try to make money, it to me, again, so many of you have written your hater emails that you think I'm crazy because of all the, the, the jab nonsense and all that. You tell me what the difference is. Tell me what the difference is. Brokers are going to promise you the world and they're going to constantly fail you, brutalize you. Especially as you make more money and you get more busy. Yeah, you could say, oh, well, we're making more money. They, I really like Ralph over there and he likes me, so things are going good. They're going to nickel and dime you, and many times they're not even going to real, you're not even going to realize it unless you are really astute with your numbers, number one. Number two, it's very easy for them to. So, okay, reject part of it. Maybe if they don't reject the entire trip, they may reject some of the mileage because they're going to say that you, you took a, you know, a, a longer route than was necessary. But you're so busy, you're not going to argue with it. They bet on those things. They literally train their people. They literally train their people. Joel, how do you know that? You're making that up. Because I have talked to, had countless relationships and conversations with people who used to work for the brokers. It is no difference. Think about this. We've gone from, remember this, remember this, remember this. Some of you may be too young to remember this. Do you remember, how about this, how about this? Um, 14 days, we're gonna flatten the curve. 14 days, and all of us, okay, well we can suck it up for 14 days. 14 days of flatten the curve has turned into three, three jabs, three jabs, 
passport, you ain't got those, lose your job. Think about it. That's where it's come. This is what happens when you partner with people like the brokers. It, it, tyranny is tyranny. Tyranny is tyranny. It comes in many shapes, forms, sizes, realms, arenas. It's all tyranny at the end of the day. 14 days, flatten the curb, three jabs, passport. You ain't got it, lose your job. It's, it's lunacy. Same thing happens when you build your business. I got a, a, a lady we started working with in, in, in the, the communist state of California. And, uh, how many times have, have I had to hear, oh, but my competitor, but my competitor is driving these. My competitor has this. Well, ironically enough, I know your competitor, and all they're doing is Medi-Cal work. All they're doing is Medi-Cal work. They ain't making real money. Stop comparing yourself to somebody else. Unbelievable. If, 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 if the, the people that you're working with and for, well, I'm working with Logisticare. Okay, that's your pet alligator. Are they for you or are they against you? Are they for you or against you? And, 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 and here's what, again, I understand. Many of you watching this, if you're, if you're still watching it, because I know a lot of people already checked out, unsubscribed, all that stuff. So if you're still watching this, there's many of you, you literally will take the square peg and you know it doesn't fit in the round hole. And what's the solution? Just pound harder. Just pound harder. Don't even think to work smart, just pound harder. You see that it's a round hole, you see you got the square peg, but that SOB is going in there, I'm just gonna pound harder. I.e., this broker is nickel and diamond me, this broker is being tyrannical, uh, but you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna get another vehicle. Uh, I'm just gonna accept more trips. I'm drowning in 10 feet of water, mm, can you give me five more feet? Because maybe I won't drown if you give me 15 feet of water. When in doubt, pound harder. That's what some of you people do. Been in business since October 2019. Hasn't done a single thing to develop the strategic relationships with the hospitals, nursing homes, rehabs. None, none of the stuff that Joel Davis espouses. None of it. Don't, don't do it. Why? Well, that would cost money. People don't want to invest the money. They all want free advice. They all want the White Walkers. Okay, okay, okay. If you're still watching. Now, no, this is cool. This is cool. This is cool. Now, here's another dude. There's another good dude, totally different state. Couldn't be further apart, almost like corner to corner. Here's another good dude who, um, this is my response to him. Um, for many of you, if you know if I'm working with you one-on-one, -on -one, this is how I draft my emails. Um, so I've worked with him for a long time. This dude keeps me on retainer. Before, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't enlist my help from the beginning. He went out, um, he actually had another partner, that business failed, and, but he saw the opportunity, yada yada, started his other business. Went out, literally, again, wasn't, wasn't, work, wasn't listening to me, wasn't working to me. Um, purchased one of these vehicles, was like well over 50 grand, it was like $55,000. Um, and we're still working to pay it off, all that kind of stuff. Good news is we're making enough money. We're we're in the right. We're heading the right trajectory, despite having vehicles that he way, way, way overpaid for, way overpaid for. That I've told him several times, and he knows if he was to ever do that again, I'm going to bring violence upon his face. He knows it. Again, good dude. He and his wife work hard. Even his mother and father uh, work with them sometimes. I mean, just good, close knit family working hard. These are the people you pull for. This is, this is red blooded America right here. You gotta love stuff like this. So, anyways, um, his situation. Um, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but if you go through a long time ago, I had all the, the videos where I talked about the asset protection, the cash flow asset protection of how to move your money out of your 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 high high risk, high volatile entities, put them into different entities so that you build basically build your own bank, build your own management company, things like that. And that's what we're gonna be doing with him. Um, so part this is this is this is just part of a, a lengthy email. Um, that I had sent to him. And part of it was me saying to him, as the time comes to invest in a new vehicle, we want to put the money into blank investment. Blank investment is the company 
uh, that's going to be basically be his bank. Again, we're moving, we want to be able to take money from a higher risk, higher liability, higher exposed business entity, legally move the money into a different entity uh, where we can grow. But it's all about building that honeypot. It's all about asset protection. It's all about making your money build wealth, make you money, uh, and have it protected at the same time. So we want to take the money out of the, squeeze as much as we can out of the higher risk companies, um, put them into a position where we can build that honey pot. We can start to transition and work to become creators instead of chasers. We want our money to make us more money than the actual business does. So I said, um, as the time comes to invest in a new vehicle, we want to put the money into blank investment, uh, let blank investments own the vehicle and lease it to your NMT business. And he said, no to. Uh, 3.2, I said, all other capital investments should be purchased through blank investments, i.e., if you buy a new stretcher, do it in blank investments and then lease it to uh, your transportation business. If you buy computers, same thing. He said, no. 3.3, um, the goal is to literally grow revenue and invest in, in uh, blank investments. We'll call that his bank, if you will. Uh, this is another reason why I want to see your P&L and cash flow. No question, we need to start investing money long term for you and blank, which is his wife. But we also want to be saving money in blank investments so you can purchase all future vehicles in cash with your own bank. That's the plan. P purchase it in cash through your own bank. We're basically working to turn blank investments into your own bank. And then he says, this all makes sense. I am aiming to shoot you the P&L today. I appreciate all the help. Thanks. Yada, yada. And this dude, too, another great dude, hardworking, could not be, always expresses his appreciation, which I know my team and I, we always love and appreciate. It's just, um, you know, it's, 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 those are the type of people you want to work with. So, what, what, since, since, since January of last year, okay, when we knew, when we, when we had sleepy, creepy, dementia patient with the cackling sidekick Medusa, we knew what was common, okay? Um, we knew what was common with the inflation, the gas prices, the economies, and what have I been saying now for a year? You have got to grow through it. Now, you tell me who's growing. Is Terry growing? Oh, yeah. Is uh, James growing? Yep. That client provider who's at her wit's end with uh, broker uh, logistic care and um, doesn't know what she's going to do, has no relationships, nothing, hasn't done any of that over the last two plus years. Has she been growing through all this? No. Nope. This uh, client provider who he knows, I love him, but he knows that if he was to ever go out and purchase a $55,000 vehicle again, I'm going to bring violence upon his face. Um, is he growing? Yep. Yep. He's grown through the scamdemic, the plandemic, uh, and is in a good position. I've been telling you what was common. You either, the only way to emerge on the other end of the storm. Now, personally, I love this storm. I've told you for, if you've been watching my videos for any length of time, I told you the storm was coming. I told you we're at the storm. We are clearly in the middle of the storm now. We are in the middle of the storm and we are, the, the light is at the end of the tunnel. It's gonna pop. And for me, I personally love it because when it pops, for those of you in the know, my bets are up to eight million. 8 million, absolutely love it. It's going to be the easiest money I will have ever made in my life. It's been absolute fun. All I had to do was, again, how many, how, I, don't I always say, you got to play the cards, you got to play the hand that you're dealt. Hey, the table was set. I couldn't have predicted it, but the table was set. I played. I know uh, I know how to play that, and we're at eight million, so it's absolutely phenomenal. So I love the storm because had the storm not elongated itself, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be making eight eight million. So absolutely love it. But there's people out here 
these young bucks uh, who are growing through the storm, and there's other people who are losing in the storm. Why? Because they follow white, white, white walker advice, because they follow the freebie experts, because they do not position their businesses correctly. Not only do they not position their business correctly, they don't position their entire future correctly, their entire financial landscape. I mean, again, look at this client provider I just showed you where we're working now to build his, his, his um, we're to not only grow his NEMT business, but also his own bank management company. He's going to be building a, a broker business. I mean, it's, uh, so I ask you, which, which, which of these people, who's growing and who's not? Who's growing? Who's not? Again, I, I told you at the beginning of this, if, if this video, I, am, I know people watching this video are going to hate it. Um, it's not what you want to hear. You're going to unsubscribe because people gravitate to it. They only go to what they want to, what they like, what they want to hear. They want the reinforcement. For those of you who I work with, you know I'm not one of those dudes. I'm not going to, I'm not going to just rubber stamp and co-sign what you're doing. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. And that sometimes conflicts with what you want to do or your your dreamy uh, vision. You need to be grounded in, in, in practical reality. What are you doing? What have you been doing? What have you been doing? Been in business since October of 2019. Not, not where she needs to be, not where she wants to be. What are you doing? I tell you, You've got to keep sowing those seeds. James, Terry, my other client providers, sowing these seeds and they're bearing fruit all through the scandemic, the pandemic. And it's going to flip. It's going to flip. It's going to pop soon. Look at all the beautifulness that's happening, not only in this country, even look to the north, to the communist country of Canada. Look at those truckers, what they're doing. Absolutely awesome absolutely awesome we are going to be on the back end of the storm and the back end of the storm is going to be beautiful when we get there i'll see you at the top let's go brandon hey. let's go brandon hey. let's go let's go hey.